Hey guys, it's just Nathan here, and I, po and I apologize this revi this video is late, but I was gonna turn out like like two days ago. But hey, I'm my grandparents or or I had to be with my grandparents, so I apologize. And when we divorce, so I apologize for that. Anyway, without further ado, so I got all my custom new figures from Batman vs Superman. And I know some, and I'm not gonna. Now, I we know a lot of you are gonna spin in the comments just saying, oh, this movie was terrible. Well, in my own opinion, and this is just my own opinion, and maybe some of you won't agree with me. I think Doomsday was great in the film, but even though he gets killed, which I'm not gonna spoil it, even though he gets killed by some stupid thing, I don't care. He was great, and plus he doesn't look like the incredible. He looks nothing like a K troll, which not some little maniac. Oh yeah, if you're watching this, D dude, he looks nothing like K troll. He looks nothing like the abomination from the from the forgettable Hulk, which quote from the forgettable Hulk. He looks nothing like it. He's his own species, and duh, Zod. He's evil. What do you think? He's supposed to destroy Superman. Anyway, I'm not gonna go to comp to compare. Anyway, here's all these custom minifigures. Uh, for you, I always seen the film. By the way, for those of you who haven't seen, please don't sp spoil it. Spoil for other people. Well, even though the movie already came out on DVD, you you can. So yeah, let's now. Here at Batman, and also I apologize about the lighting. My li with the lighting, I try everything. And there's my Joker line over there. I bought the Joker lens. Where is a good lighting? And I apologize. You can see like a bunch of Lego stuff. I trying to. And I apologize for this, so I apologize, and I don't have a flashlight, I can't look for one, so I apologize. Apologize, I, I, anyway, so, here we go with my Ben Affleck bat. What I did was, I took, what I did was, instead of using, like, the new Fidget Cowl and modifying it, I did that, I already did that, and it was awful, I'm not gonna show it to you because, hey, it's not very good. And once again, I apologize for the light. So what I did was I took an older cowl, and if I go boom, I took this kind of cowl, the old cowl, this cowl, this cowl, and what I did was I sanded the ears a bit, not too much, because that will make it look weird. So I sanded, and then I painted in gloss black. I know you can't see it, but like I said, I apologize. Like right, th like right there. You could s once again, I apologize for the lighting, and I did paint the silver, on, like silver bits. You could s silver in there, and now if I pull off the cowl, you can see this is actually a Lego's head. Even though I wanted to use like the other one, I think bland, in my opinion. I and I did paint the black onto his eyes. And same thing with the double-sided face. The double-sided face, and yeah. And now uh, the cape is actually an older cape. Old cape, and I did like I did e tape on some sides of it. You can see. Uh, you can see. You can tell. Now if we move. Now the torso is is Legos. The front and back. I'm not gonna. I'm. And if I. Remove the cape, I apologize for this. Remove the cape, the front and back of the torso, all Legos, you can see. And I, and I, that is Legos torso, and what I did was, I actually did the, what did, a man, painting the legs. I would say, there is not, no, I could I didn't want to do that pound because one, that will be time consuming. So, so what I did was, I painted it silver. I painted sil metallic silver and black, and add some lines, and, and I extend on both sides, and add some more plating onto it. You can see I extended this part there. Now, now his blast, 
Now his grenade gun is actually one of is actually from Brick Arms. Now this is actually now this was originally a Brick Arms core burner. Now this gun is not accurate. Yes, it's not accurate to the film, but hey, I just decided to use it. And I also use it for my on my bat suits, which you are seeing in a moment. I actually used this and what I did was I chopped up the scope off and I sanded it a bit I chopped up the scope up, I painted it silver, some parts of it silver, and I add, add a little bit of lights, teeny tiny lights you can see. If not, I apologize in real life. I apologize. And now uh, I did not chop out this part here because, hey, I want to keep it in hay. That would be time consuming and kind of sand it. So, yeah. So, and I did sand off this, like, top here. If you look at a brick on this core burner, I sanded it off. And credit to Ross, my Andrea, for this design. So credit to him for this design. So yeah, that is. Well, I'm trying to assemble him back. Well, I'm trying to assemble him back. Oh yeah, and also I did paint on the arm arms on both sides. And I don't know if it's accurate. If me, I mean, I might change it soon. So yeah. So yeah, that's about it for this Ben Affleck Batman, and I can't wait to see him in, I can't wait to see this guy in Justice League. And the next mini, next mini figure I have right here is Superman. Superman. And Superman, what I did with him is, uh, I extended the six pack, I know you can't see it, like I said, I apologize for the lighting. So, I, apo I apologize for the lighting, like I said, it's just because, uh, I apologize for the line, so you can't really see it, but I did extend the six pack, six pack, and I paint, and I painted these designs on his boots. This is actually the oval motor. And I now, now, and also I extended the silver, the silver you can see metallic blue onto the, the, uh, and also I painted the cups on him metallic blue on the cuffs on his hand. Now the cave is actually an old, older cave because hey, this is much better than the newer cave because they look kind of weird. And hey, he doesn't have long hair period, so that's why you'll be seeing. Now the hair piece is actually from the one who said, what I did was I sanded the sides, but down. Just like I did for, I will be using this hair piece from a bunch of my custom minifigures. So, now the head is actually the old Superman hair, head. And not the one where he's smiling. Just hey, I don't like that face. So I use that. This is actually from the one from the main of Stu sets, and plus the Brainiac attack. So I use that head because I think it resembles Henry Cavill. So yeah, now the torso is actually from Legos. I did a little bit. Like I said, I didn't do anything on the torso because hey, this is Legos torso. Lego did an amazing good job on it. So yeah, that's about it. So yeah, that's about it for. Super on. Now the min next one you see here. Now here I have the armor bat suit. Now what I did was, the, this is actually Lego's torso and legs. Now you guys are probably wondering why could I not buy, buy Josiah's like sold? Well, one, don't have the money. Two, he doesn't make it anymore. And three, I don't have time. I don't have time. So hey, I decided to make this figure. This. And I know you guys are probably going, it's crappy. Yeah, I know. For some things, yeah. You're probably wondering why I didn't I sculpt the cowl. Hey, I'm lazy. Hey, I didn't have enough time, so. Yeah. Plus, I suck at it. I tried it before, and it was terrible, so yeah. So, hey, so yeah. Now, this was actually Lego's official stuff. The armor, you know, except for the cape, and the gun, and the gauntlet, you can see. The, no, the cowl was actually a, this is not from the light, the official chrome one. I painted myself and I painted this black thing because I did weather it a bit. You can see, I know you can't, you can kind of see it. Is that like some, see some black. I paint, and now that chest piece was also from the set. And what I did was, I used E-tape for the strap. 
and, uh, you can see the design on this is also, you can see this is also painted. And also credit to this guy, I don't know his name, on Flickr he did, did this design, but it, I didn't cop, I mean I did do a couple stuff to copy him, but he, so credit him, I don't know his, I know he has a Flickr, but he did the same design. He used like a gunmetal towel, I did try to do that, but I kind of messed it up, so I decided to scrap, scrap that cowl and use this cowl and just seal it and just weather it, so and just do this, like spread it black all over and hit, I'm not, so yeah, now the chest piece I did thin it off a bit, and, you know, the gauntlets are actually not sculpted, those were actually some Lego handcuff pieces, and I used the rubber one, the rubber ones, because hey, they now come in ABS plastic, I'm talking about these, they were rubber, and I decided to cut those off, and paint it silver, and I did paint some gunmetal on here and some detail on the arm. And also add some detail in there. So yeah. Yeah. Now his head is actually... Now I did paint the glowing effect on both sides of the head and also the stubble. Just like I kind of did for my other bat, My original Batman. Now the cape is actually on top of him rather than the one from the set because that looked kind of awkward. And hey, this is much better than what what Lego should have done. It was all in a gunmetal color, so that's and they should have used chrome. And now the weapon, this is the exact same gun. I'm not gonna explain it, but it's the same gun that I use. It's a Burkham Corbin. What it? And that's what I did. Chopped off the skull, put off sand this little part, and add some silver bits and add the red light. So that's about. And that's about it. And this is a, this gun that I would be using on. And Superman, so yeah, so that's about it for this for this for the armor bat suit. And and also credit to that guy, I don't know his footer name. So yeah, and then next I have Je Jesse Eisen Lex Luthor, Jesse Eisenberg. And what I did now the hair we always seen this hair, this is actually painted by me. But in in brown, my own brown color. The head Size and then now the head is actually a Bruce Wayne head. Erase the wrinkles. I painted the eyebrows brown. Torso is all fully painted by me, and I based off of, of Ross's design. Like I said, credit him to that. And now the jacket is actually made of paper, paper and with light gray trench coat. I decided this design. You can see I did add some pocket. Now I did add some buttons. And they're not accurate, even though they're not accurate, but hey, regardless, I painted them anyway. Now he does have the bandage painted, I painted that on. This is what happened to him now, I'm not going to spoil it, like I said, but he, when he was, so yeah. So, and also painted the cuffs on white on both sides. So, so yeah, that's about it for, for Lex Luthor. That's about it for Lux Luthor, so yeah. That's about it for Lux Luthor. And I apologize if he has a wrinkle because right now, but uh, this is that guy black on him. So anyway, let's move on. Now the next mini figure, now, 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 second to last, I have is Wonder Woman. I everything is left on touch, extra in some details. I I painted the flash since I'm not. I, Wrapped around every single thing, and that's all fully painted by me. Face, hair piece, the she shield, and so we're all untouched, but a little bit of modification. Because I think now, now the shoes are all full. The boot, her boots are all fully painted by me. The gauntlets all wall and excluding the gauntlets, but I extended the gauntlet on both sides and. And the shield, I actually had some black on it, not like over like battle, for more like a battle damage effect. I didn't want to do it overly, because one, I didn't want to do that. Because I'm, now the sword is actually from the Lord of the Rings set. What I did was I painted this in silver, painted this in gold. Like I said, I apologize for the lighting. And yeah, and that's about it for my Wonder, for my Wonder Woman, my Wonder Woman figure. And hey, I, I can't wait to make 
parasuit in, in the movie, and I apologize if that video is late. So yeah, that's about it for Wonder Woman. Okay. Now, the biggest thing you be for it, doomed. Doomed. My first ever big custom big bake. What I did was, you know, the base of him, what I did was, I actually took a Gorilla Gras. See? What I did was, I sin. I sin and all the thing. The top of him, I sin that off. And, and I painted everything in this light grayish color. And I painted it silver, silver on his spikes. And I did not add any more spikes on his face. I know that's a little bit inaccurate, but hey, hey, I'm lazy. And his face, his mouth, and the eyes are all fully painted by me. And the toes are also fully painted. Now the shoulder pad and his shoulders are also sculpted by me. And the spikes are also sc sculpted by me. And in this chest, I did add some, like, like, Sculpting my, trying to like, carving that out, and man, so yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's about it for this big thing, now you can't really tell, no, I know Doomsday evolved in the movie, but hey, I just want to get this, these figures out of the way, and yeah, so yeah, that's about it for my first custom big fig of Doomsday, let me know what you think in the comments, so yeah, that's right. Up. And there you have. There is my Don Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice minifigures. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you do, leave a like and comment below. So yeah, and then also one thing I want to point out, I don't sell these minifigures. None of these figures are not for sale unless told otherwise. Because I'm only one person with only two hands, so I apologize for those of you who want to buy these figures. But it's not even possible. And also I did whether they're on the back too anyway. And also, I have the arm on Wonder Woman, that's also the Wonder Woman arm. No, and also, I know it's Bobby, but hey, I suck it. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Like I said, I apologize, and like I said, I apologize that this video is late, but hey, I need, I'm kind of busy, so yeah. So, videos may be out, like, a little bit late, or maybe not. So, well, I'm trying to rush it, so yeah, that's about it for this showcase. Like, comment, and please subscribe to me. I will be doing gaming, like I said, but so just be patient. So yeah, that's about it for this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.